we are going to talk about a topic from thank you joel paul chapman for referring this comment so on his facebook page he said and i've also done interviews with him you've probably seen the joel paul chapman series but he goes a narcissist will always want to be your hero and if they are not they will always paint themselves as your victim so he's got a bunch of uh comments and the one that he referred to me on was how does a narcissist want to be your hero when clinically they are considered and demonstrate cases of extreme self-involvement. So basically the question is, if people who are narcissistic are focusing on themselves, why are they helping other people? How does this make sense? So I'm going to refer to when I was pregnant. I wasn't with my ex. We broke up and eventually we got back together. But during that time, I was pregnant. Uh, I didn't really show, but when people found out men that I was pregnant, they wanted to be my hero. Now I'm not saying all men are narcissistic, but it's the lesson that is learned in this. So being a single woman, uh, now you're with child. Why are these guys trying to help me when there's so many other women out there? Why are they trying to get with me? And out of all my years in life, that is when I got hit on the most. The guys uh, seemed very kind. They wanted to help. They uh, were talking long-term. Now, to just go dating now, they don't talk long-term as much as when they did when I was pregnant. So that can fill a void. Uh, or this is the main thing. I was more vulnerable. I was more needy. Now I was able to support myself, but in their eyes, it was an easier target. Of course, she's going to say yes to me. I can provide her bills. I can allow her to stay home with the child, or it could be something that is self-fulfilling to them. Maybe they wanted a, ch ch um, a child, but don't want to go through the hassle of, a, you know, trying to find the right woman. Somebody's already got a kid. It's easier to be the hero to somebody when they're down and out. Also, if you think about it, if I had a broken leg, I'm easier to just swoop up and pick up and walk away with, uh, as opposed to somebody who's healthier, they're going about doing their own thing. So depending on somebody's vulnerability, it's easy. So being a hero for one thing feels good. The narcissist likes to feel good. There's a lot of adoration adoration. If you notice that sometimes people who are in service industries, whether they're cops, policemen, therapists, people fall in love with them or infatuation with them because they feel a connection because they're needy. The person's listening to them and the narcissist knows what's easy and it can feel good to be a hero. It's a title, just like head cheerleader or top of the football team or, you know, policeman or soldier or uh, judge, whatever it is. Sometimes people just want a title so they can be your hero. It's like a subconscious unspoken thing, but the gratification that they will receive, like, thank you, thank you, thank you, or people relying on them. Sometimes that is their purpose. Uh, the narcissist will do it as long as they get the right kind of adoration. Sometimes it could even be things like, hey, I'm going to help my buddy. And you're like, well, you know, I was hoping you'd stay home with me. Uh, you know, we were going to clean the basement and they're like, I, I, I got to help my buddy. Maybe they can smoke weed over there, or drink beer. So we don't always know what their intentions are. Sometimes they, a narcissist will leave uh, and they're not even helping anyone. Maybe it is a time to cheat. It's a way out of the house. If they are your hero during that time, that is that love bombing stage. During the love bombing stage, it's a manipulation tactic. And there are times though that the narcissist has a kind heart. But it's only a kind heart when it serves them a purpose. So it gets really confusing because sometimes, you know, from both sides, it serves a purpose. You help me uh, and I was happy. Maybe I gave you cash. Sometimes being the hero, they might be. I had one that uh, was trying to be my hero. I need a new roof. I'm buying a house right now. And he's like, uh, $2,000, you pay for the supplies and I'll do it. Now, I haven't gotten complete um 
quotes on the roof yet. That may or may not be a good deal. It probably is a good deal, but he needs money. He needs money. And, um, you know, uh, it was interesting how angry, how angry he got when I said, well, I'm just collecting bids and, uh, you know, um, I said that I'm uncomfortable that it's a one man crew. It's only him doing it. Now, I don't know very much about roofing, but I know I need like a tear off and then probably maybe some support beams, things like that. I didn't know that they can deliver to the top of the roof, but I was afraid of him carrying up heavy shingles to the top of the roof. Also, the roof is probably about an angle like that. What would that be? About 45 degree angle. So it's a very steep incline. And um, I don't know what supplies he has but he wants to be my hero it's two thousand dollars that's saving you whatever um but you know him being a hero you know for me to say no he didn't like me saying no uh i didn't exactly say no i just said i'm uncomfortable with one person i will have to let you know i have to do research on things and if it was me just going oh my gosh thank you that would have worked out. It would have, you know, he would have gotten his money. I would have gotten a new roof, but because of these little, uh, mishaps within life or bumps in the road where, whoa, she wants to check other people. Uh, she wants other quotes. She is con like, I'm concerned about him. He doesn't see me being concerned that he could get her to also the liability on me. I'm not going to lie. Part of it is what's my liability if he falls and dies or gets extremely hurt on my property. Uh, I have to research what the insurance says. So when things go along great, fantastic. But when there's little things like what happened uh, as far as me not readily accepting it, it's, it's, it's kind of offer. It could help both of us but there's more to it. Sometimes they have that narrow thinking and the anger. Uh, now he's a friend of my friend. So I'm talking to her on the phone. She knows what's going on. And he pipes in every now and then. A lot of times I'm on speaker um, and he joins in, but it is what it is. And so he would come back into the room and start like berating me and saying that, uh, I'm saying he's not good enough or I don't trust him. And, um, I have seen some of his work, but I really haven't seen his work. He's not licensed. He's not insured. So I have to know the legality of it for me to be comfortable. He doesn't care if I'm comfortable or not. He takes it as offensive that I'm trying to do things to, to my comfort level. It's my house. And, He's only concerned about being my hero. So he gets the money when it hurt his ego because he thought I didn't think he was good enough, which I never said. Uh, he probably would be okay. Uh, I, I, I don't even know the damage to the house. So, you know, if it's like a full, like structural everything, I don't know if he's good enough to lay shingles. I might even be good enough, but being a hero you know um he knows purchasing the house money's tight so how do you do it you give me a discount and you get what you want um so as far as being a hero it's easier for them it's an ego stroke it's love momming uh sometimes they're just bored like why not or uh they might want to be in with the cool kids maybe the people at your facility or who you are gives them some kind of supply, whether it's um, status in society or uh, something to fill the time. And it was really interesting how much I got hit on when I was pregnant. It was astronomical compared to just a regular day. And I got, I was pretty lucky. I got hit on by quite a few guys. So it was so extreme. Um, but I don't think they would have given me the time of day if I wasn't vulnerable. Um, maybe it's something with self-esteem 
to where they're like, um, I can't approach her. Maybe we're not on the same level. But when you are in a needy stage that can bring uh, a, a different perspective in somebody's eyes where now's my end. If I wait till, you know, um, a different time, maybe she wouldn't be with me. So as far as why do they want to be the hero? Sometimes it's to smooth things over. Sometimes uh, there are genuine times that they want to do the right thing because it feels good or it was a thought in their head or it's for reciprocity, reciprocity where, you know, they give you something and it stirs something up in you to give back, whether it's sexual, whether it's um, time or you can go talk to your friends like, look how fantastic that was. Can you believe it? So it's an ego stroke to the extreme when you're talking about this person makes them seem like they're in a better light. So acts of service are very nice. Acts of service are very nice. But intention is what matters. Intention is what matters. And that's where it gets hard to read because sometimes we're like, well, if they didn't love me, they wouldn't go to such extremes, you know, because we think like, let's say in the house roof situation where it's like, they would not forgo $8,000 or whatever the extra fee would be if they didn't really love me. But if they really loved me, they'd listen to my concerns that, I mean, that could wipe me out if they got hurt and wipe me out uh, financially um they don't uh, uh they don't listen to the whole story where it's like i'm being concerned about you i'm showing love back to where um i'm saying i'm concerned about you they don't care about that they don't care about us saying i'm concerned about you they are concerned with what they want and it can change um but it was really interesting how he kept bebopping back to start a fight with me. Um, wanted to make me feel terrible or that I had no right to uh, say I wanted to think about it. And it was really interesting. Most people would be like, okay, well, let me know. But when you're in dire straits too, when you're in dire straits, uh, it's a heightened level of stress. So they really need the money and I get where he's coming from. Um, so it's, they're in a desperation mode as well. I'll be your hero because I'm in desperation mode. Uh, maybe I'm not saying the men that were chasing me when I was pregnant, some of them would be like super sweet to where they do want to be your hero and could be a good life partner, but others are, uh, in it, um, sometimes to make up for if they walked out on other children, now it's their time to be uh, redeeming themselves. So intention matters. It's really difficult to know what somebody's intentions are. And when you deal with the narcissist, they lie, they gaslight. So even if you're like, look, okay, why do you want to be with me? I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a child and I barely know you. You're ready to take care of me. That's kind of a red flag too, though. Um, even though I'm awesome, <laughs> but it is a, a red flag. Like you don't know me. I might be crazy. I might be, uh, where I just spend or have a gambling problem or, uh, you know, do you know, I'm not going to just use you and then discard you once I had this baby and my medical bills paid that when somebody is so quick to be your hero and especially to what extreme, like if you brought me some free McDonald's, yeah, you were my hero today. That's different. That's something, you know, a uh, kind gesture, but the hero, the above and beyond there are many reasons, but they're usually self-fulfilling. And at times, depending on who your narcissist is and depending on where it is in the cycle, how uh, fulfilled they are in whether it's their job or 
um, you know, whatever it is that makes them feel good. But when they're down, um, you know, the intentions are going to be different because I guarantee you, if that roofer, uh, let's say he was a millionaire, would he still be giving me that discount? He gave me that discount, not for me. So I hope that helps. And I appreciate you, Joel, for telling people about me. Get the word out. If you guys have topics or you can share to other people, or if you see somebody struggling, please let them know about me. I do make videos to help you guys. Likes and comments help. Let's get this channel to grow. The more you comment, the more you like, the more the channel grows. And this is your community. This is your family. So share the love.